Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and today I'll be showing you how to do this glass morphism effect in Canva. I have two examples here, one is for a beauty Instagram post and the other is for this chocolate drink. So you can apply this in a number of ways. It's pretty easy to do, so let's jump right into Canva and I'll show you how. So here we are in Canva. I'm going to go ahead and create um, a normal Instagram square post. Then the first thing that we're going to do is to go to uploads and upload our background. So for this example, I'm just going to use the coffee bean here. I can um, fit it to the background just like this. Then you need to go to elements, search for frame, click see all, and then select whichever frame you want. Any of these frames will work. But for this purpose, we're going to use this one. And then you just need to resize it and put it to wherever you want to have that um, glass effect be. And this is very important because once you do this effect, you won't be able to reposition it because the image will now move and it won't look as good. I'll show you all about that in a moment, but let's keep that in mind. So now that we have our frame here, let's go ahead now and bring in another instance of our background image. We're going to drag this into the frame just like that. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that the image within the frame matches perfectly um, with the background image. So we're going to double click the frame and then resize it. So you just want to pay attention to your edges and then you just move this around. Then also with the frame selected, go to edit image under adjust, click see all, and then adjust the blur to your liking. I think that's good enough. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. Look at what happens if I try to move the frame. See, all of a sudden it, it just doesn't make sense anymore. So you have to know where you want this glass effect to be before you actually do it. So it's destructive, right? Keep that in mind. Anyway, so we're back to, um, to here. Where was it? I'm just doing undo so that it goes back um, perfectly. The next thing that we're going to do is to select our frame duplicate it and then we're going to hit the delete key which removes the image from the frame and now we want to add a solid color to it so go up to color and select white now decrease the transparency of this to let's say 20 hey what happened yeah and then you want to drag this back on top of your frame where is it? Oh, there it is. And there you have your glass morphism effect. Now you can further go ahead and decrease the transparency of this, you know, to kind of get as intense as you want or as transparent as you want. And that should be good. Now, because you have these two separate parts to this, what you need to do is to go to position layers select both of them and group them so now you will have both um, as a single selection a single layer so that you can um, not delete one by accident and mess the whole thing up from here now uh, you can go ahead and add any other thing you want I believe I just added um, a random text something like this and then um, this PNG I have of, um, what is this? It's a smoothie? I don't even know. Oh, it's trying to go in the frame. Let's put it, click from the corner here, All right? So that it doesn't go in the frame. And I want to send it behind the text. So go to position, go to layers, and then drag the text 
below the smoothie. There we go. Something like that. And then you can go ahead and add a little drop shadow down here, etc. etc. But essentially that is how it's done and it's a really cool effect. It's used mostly in UI design, but you can be very creative with this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do let me know if I didn't explain anything pretty well that you want me to kind of go over or any other thing that you may want to learn. So do subscribe, leave a comment and share with your friends. Who knows, maybe they want to know how to make this. So thank you again and have yourselves a good day.